Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome! So, I've managed to repair quite a lot of the facility, and I have paid off some people so they don't have to sue me for lawsuits after me blowing the rest of the facility up and killing quite a few of the workers, but that is in the past, and the incident, as far as you know, never happened, so I don't want to hear a word of that again. So, we've just been restocking some of the ammo shelves, we've got a new order of rockets coming in today, so we've got to make, uh, I think, of an order of 350 rockets for um, some empire that's probably far out into the deeps of space, that sound like they're going to try to take on a small army of their own. But yeah, that production's going pretty well, we're about halfway through the order, and with the rebuild of some of the factory areas, we've decided not to have any warheads in these production area rooms, even though they're very vital objects at the moment. We've decided against having them in here, so we've got some ammo on production as usual. A new rule is we're not going to have anything lying around as well. We've got to keep this place tidy. People that leave things out, leave things messing around. Like, these workers that have left this thing, this is an appalling state. So, I'm going to show you this. This is a conveyor belt. Who the hell has left this around? Alright, hold on. There we go. Neaten that up. I'll be, I'll be putting a file in against that. We'll check the security cameras around here and make sure who that was. So, this is basically the conveyor belt. It's not actually a conveyor belt, but it works in the same way. So what the idea would be is you'd make a request from the large storage room. Obviously the conveyor belts go into other parts of the factory, and I'll show you how these are built very shortly. And you say, oh, I want 20 kilograms of ore, can you send it to me, um, elevator 4. So above here there'd be a number, number 4, and you put your item on just like this, and basically it transports itself along these gravity generators that don't actually work but they have enough surface area and a good amount of grip to actually transfer it across so the item gets basically stuck here you either come along with a honey badger or one of the items um, a little worker comes along and says right thanks for the magnesium ore puts it in starts producing the rockets so uh, I have told the workers just to just to leave today and I'm just gonna be showing you some of the facilities um, actual functions so let's actually get in here so what we're going to do is we're just going to place a basic block at this end. Obviously this is a really short one and there's not really a reason to have a conveyor belt here, but in some circumstances, say you've got a mining facility on the far side of the planet and you've got your actual production facility on the other side and your workers are there, you could get one of these conveyor belts, um, make sure there's a nice bit of side on it and you could actually transport it across. So we've got a big massive stone here, so this would be a stone that you won't be able to carry in your inventory in survival, but with the use of a conveyor belt we can do that. So there it goes, travels on its way through the conveyor belt. Obviously you'll notice at some points it gets a little bit rotational and starts spinning and the gravity generators are not damaged by it, but there we go, it's basically being carried across the conveyor belt and then the worker would pick it up at the other end like so and then off to work he does and produces whatever weapons he may want to have. So it's quite a nice tight package, it fits in very well to a small area. So let's go on outside and we will take a look at its construction. So this is basically how it's constructed. You'll go, whoa, that is that is super easy. Why did not I not think of that? So a new station, and this idea didn't just come to me. This was actually an idea of one of my friends, and he said, oh, this. What about if you did this for sort of a conveyor belt? Because I've been trying to produce a conveyor belt in the factory for so quite a long time now, and I've been trying using small ships and using chains, but. They just keep breaking on me, so you basically just want to stick your rotor there, and then what you do is you get yourself a gravity generator. A gravity generator, the reason for a gravity generator is because it, it can't be pushed by you or a large orb, and then we get ourselves some power, obviously, on here. So we're going to need a little bit of a power generator. One of these babies will do nicely. Stick that on there, and then we can get control of the rotor as well. So what we basically have to say then is rotor, can you spin up to max RPM? You need to keep it on max RPM or it won't have enough power to throw it over. So now we've basically completed our first conveyor belt. So all you have to do to complete it, delete that off. That'll stay there in space. And you attach another one to the other side like so. And then basically it's it won't move unless you hit it with something ridiculous. Like um, a ship or something. And sometimes then it doesn't even move. So then basically you repeat the process like so whack another one there and then you put another gravity generator on you run back to your your little system here and basically you put the velocity back up like so delete and then you just continue along your production line you can also do this at slopes so I'll demo this next one on a slope obviously the climbing ability going up is not very good 
so just bear that in mind but going down is a lot easier and it means your item won't go flying down a hill and wreck what's ever at the bottom so we got one there and we'll whack our gravity generator on it there like so and we nip over here and all we have to do is reactivate it like so so stick the velocity on max and then we delete the spinner on our side and there we go we basically got a little bit of a thing that powers us down here and then would power us over there and through there if I was a big enough rock too bad I'm a little person and I slide through some of the gaps obviously it's not the best system in all situations and you can move it but moving it is a very delicate process but that's a very nice idea I'll just take you back in the factory to show you one last time and then basically we'll move on to the next part of the video so we're in here there it is very simple I'll whack another rock on it for you so you can do, you can build smaller rocks on, but I just I think it's perfect for really doing really large locks, really large sort of shipments of the items, and just getting them across like so. So it just does a nice smooth job. I mean, I could go and do something else in the factory now, and come back like I could be collecting some ore up and organize it in my boxes here, and then by the time that's done, that'll be to the other side, and the sparks don't really mean anything. And then sometimes you think it might get stuck like this. But then it just tends to free itself and it flicks back over and continues on its way, like so. As usual, I'd like to thank you for watching and hopefully it inspired you to build something. I'll see you next time.